a family continues to question why police shot their dog. Cops say it was aggressive. It happened near their home in Keyport. News 12's Naomi Yane is outside police headquarters tonight with the latest. Naomi. Hey there, Nick. It's two sides tonight, right? Uh, Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office saying that the two-year-old American bully, uh, that they, the dog charged at responding officers. Meanwhile, the dog's owner saying the dog is very well trained, has never been aggressive, and police should have used an alternate method if they felt in danger. You know how a dog jumps up and then, like when they're playful? It did that, so then the cop decided to step back and take two shots at it. The incident unfolded just before 6 o'clock Saturday evening when the Ferrara family dog, Blaze, got out of their backyard while the family was out. The two-year-old American bully walked a few feet from the backyard to the Porta John. Jaquan Solomon was one of several teens playing in the nearby park when the exchange went down. According to police, they received reports of a dog being aggressive towards a woman who was walking her dog in the area. Now, according to the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office, police body cam footage captured the officer's encounter with the dog in the parking lot. They say he then swiftly turned and charged towards the responding officers. Then shots were fired. But the Ferrara family says the ring cam footage they got from a neighbor's home tells another story. I watched a video of it. They called his name. He came prancing over, all happy, and um, they fired shots at him. Um, he dodged the bullets, and they followed him, and they took one or two more shots at him. Tonight, the dog's owners tell us they want justice for their dog, who they say isn't aggressive at all, and they say police should have used an alternate method if they felt in danger. There's um, a whole bunch of different ways and protocol how to handle the situation. Um, pepper spray, uh, taser, uh, tranquilizer. Now, the dog is expected to be okay, and the incident is being investigated by the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office. Um, but tonight, police not making public that, uh, uh, that body cam footage just yet. Same deal for the Farrar family, also not making the footage they, uh, that they got uh, public tonight.